let's talk about problematic TikTokers, starting with Nikita Dragon. Um, always throwing shade at people. Most recently, Daisy Keach for dating her ex. Talking about Tony Lopez, who has admitted to sexting minors. 13 year old he sexted, which is a crime. And she still supports that. That's problematic. He's an actual criminal. So let's talk about the actual predator that Nikita Dragon is friends with, support, bestest friends. He's doing great. This is Tony Lopez, still on the app, and he has admitted to sexting and soliciting nudes to underage girls, way underage, 17 and under is underage, but way underage, some a 13-year-old and a 15-year-old, and he's still allowed on the app. Now, a lot of you may be like, oh, Trisha, you support people who've made jokes and stuff in the past. This isn't a joke. This is an actual crime. Victims have come forward. There's actual people that he has abused, sexually abused by asking for nudes of underage minors. It's not cool. He's an actual predator. Should not be on the app. And Nikita Dragon supports her, who also has a very large following on an app for children. How is this? How is this okay? Next predator on TikTok that people think there's nothing wrong with because it's a 19 year old girl Zoe Laverne kissing her 13 year old fan let's talk about why it's wrong under the age of 18 it is illegal and it's a crime and doing stuff with minors is extremely inappropriate because they're not fully developed I think anyone under 25 really isn't fully developed but I guess if you're doing it within the age group it's fine but adults doing it with children that is why laws are in place there are actual studies that show how much it fucks them up psychologically there are studies that have proven that they become a they develop more severe disorders as they get older and it's just completely inappropriate and no 13 year olds may think it's cool or whatever like that but they don't know the 19 year old should know she has since deleted her accounts which of course means guilty but clearly she's guilty it's disgusting and the fact that people aren't more riled up about this has me questioning social media the next TikToker I'm going to be talking about is not a predator, but it is definitely something to be warned. Alex Warren, and I'm a big fan of him. I like him. He's really popular on TikTok. He seems good enough and wholesome enough. Um, but just know, I saw him post this on Instagram story. A lot of y'all have let me know that merch during these times is pretty pricey. I'm going to be selling these dysfunctional chains, and I'm picking 500 p people who purchase to win $1,000. Don't worry, it's $20, and you don't pay shipping. I think it's pretty much illegal everywhere to require um someone to buy something in order to win especially this kind of stuff so basically he's asking everyone to like put twenty dollars in for the chance to win a thousand dollars he could be making well over two hundred thousand dollars and then giving the thousand dollars out basically scamming people to buy stuff in hopes that they can win these five random things i'm pretty sure that's illegal and definitely for this kind of stuff without any like lawyers watching it and people monitoring him definitely a scam definitely don't do it and Shame, Alex Warren, I thought you could do better than this.